Hello, Greg with Aramitsu Pumps, and thank you for joining. And thank you also for viewing our prior videos regarding upgrades to Aramitsu Pumps on your high pressure or vehicle wash systems. My pump background began in 1985 with a degree in fluid power technology. Since that time, I've worked with various pump manufacturers and beginning in 2006, I'm here with Aramitsu Pumps helping distributors, car wash equipment builders, and folks involved with high pressure cleaning. Some areas that I found helpful to these people include spray nozzles, calculating horsepower, and pump RPM. The high pressure spray nozzle in the system is very important. Without the properly sized nozzle, your system can create inadequate or no pressure at all. The pump by itself creates a flow of water, no pressure. So without a spray tip, no pressure will be achieved. How to read a nozzle is very important. We'll do a couple of examples here. 2507 or 4005 are a couple of examples of tips used in the cleaning industry. How you read them, if you take the first two numbers, here we have a 25, here we have a 40, those first two numbers refer to your spray angle, 25 degree or 40 degree in these two examples. The remaining digits, 07 or 05, that refers to the spray nozzle size or the, the orifice diameter. And that's an indicator of how much water flows through that tip at a given pressure. Over the years I've found some folks that will incorrectly translate a number seven tip as a seven gallon per minute or a number five tip as a five gallon per minute. Now those translations are correct, however, the gallon per minute again varies with the pressure. So if you have a number seven tip in a system, it's a seven gallon per minute tip. However, that's seven gallon per minute at 4,000 PSI. Okay, here it would be five gallon per minute at 4,000 PSI. So to understand how much water is going through that tip in a car wash application is to take half that nozzle number, half of number seven is 3.5, 3.5 gallon per minute at 1,000 PSI. A number five tip will pass 2.5 gallon per minute at 1,000 PSI. It's very helpful to keep in mind as you know, many times we don't carry a nozzle chart with us in our back pocket. Just remember this helpful formula. Half the nozzle number, half of number seven, half of number five, equals your gallon per minute at 1,000 PSI. Next, we will review calculating horsepower required for your system. To do this, you take your gallon per minute that a pump is producing, multiply that times your PSI, you take that answer and divide it by 1,500. We have an example here. A pump producing 7.5 gallon per minute Spraying at 1,000 PSI, take that answer, divide by 1,500, that will calculate to 5 horsepower. Any change in the gallon per minute or the pressure will result in a change in your horsepower required for our system. Next is determining the pump RPM. And to calculate that, you take your motor RPM times your motor pulley diameter 
divide that answer by your pump pulley diameter. We have an example here, a motor turning at 1750 RPM with a 4 inch diameter motor pulley. Divide that answer by 8, which is our pump pulley diameter chosen, will give us an RPM out on the pump of 875. This is like working with fractions. You'll notice here that 875 is exactly one half of our motor RPM. So whenever you take your motor pulley and double that for your pump, you will get half the RPM as what the motor is producing. Another example, let's say we keep the same motor pulley, 4 inch, and we change our pump pulley to 4 inch, 1750 times 4 divided by 4 is 1750 RPM. So what you have here is a 1 to 1 ratio. So your motor pulley and your pump pulley are the same. Here you have a 2 to 1 ratio. So your pump speed is one half of your motor RPM. I hope these tips are helpful. Feel free to keep in touch to me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. And also, view our other links regarding upgrade advantages to Aramitsu pumps for your cleaning systems. Thank you very much. Have a great day.